Assalamu alaikum dear students I'm really really hoping that you are taking care of your health and you people are well and fine and must be catching up with all the lectures on time so uh, students uh, we talked uh, that in our first lecture that uh, we have st started the topic of hardware in which uh, we are actually covering the topic of input devices we haven't covered it yet but we have started it in our previous lecture we were done the first type of an input device that was a keyboard we are done with all the concepts and types of keys present on a keyboard so in our today's lecture we are going to start the pointing devices pointing input devices pointing devices are also part of input devices so what is basically a pointing device pointing device is an input device that is used to control a pointer or cursor on the screen and to give commands to the computer so a pointing device is a device which controls the pointer or cursor on the screen the pointer represents a small symbol on the screen uh, a small cursor on the screen uh, in graphical user interface uh, the windows uh, or we are using nowadays so graphical user uh, nowadays a uh, windows based computer are basically using graphical user interface means an interface on which all the uh, icons symbols uh, instructions and options are displayed you just have to click on that symbol on that uh, option and a thing would be open up a thing would be displayed in front of your eyes so these type of interfaces on which icons symbols a uh, clickable clickable uh, symbols or clickable instructions or options on which you can click are displayed uh, for the for the uh, uh, feasibility of the user these type of uh, interfaces are called as graphical user interface so the pointing device is used in graphical user interface environment it can be used to select text or graphics or other objects and to open up a file or folder or to run a program similarly we can perform many other functions very easily and quickly using the pointing devices you have to just move a pointing device uh, and uh, that uh, cursor or pointer affiliated with that uh, moving pointing device would also move on the screen and through that pointer or cursor you can do anything or click anything on the screen so commonly used pointing devices are as follows these are displayed on the screen so the uh, types of pointing devices are mouse joystick trackball touch screen touchpad and light pen so today first of all we would be dis Uh, discussing the first pointing the first main pointing device that is a mouse so what is a mouse mouse is the most commonly used pointing input device in a windows based computer it is used to control the cursor or pointer on the screen and to give commands to the computer by clicking some mm, option so as we move the mouse over the surface of the desk the movements of the ball are detected by the internal mechanism of the mouse the mouse is connected with the computer through a cable or a, like a wireless keyboard the mouse can also be wireless you can also use wireless mouse which is bluetooth based we can also say that a mouse is a handheld hardware input device that controls a cursor in a graphical user interface and can move and select text icons files and folders on your computers for desktop computers the mouse is placed on a flat surface on a flat table on a mouse pad mouse pad in front of your computer so the mouse can be used to issue commands draw and perform other types of input tasks whether the mouse uses a, a laser or ball or it is a wired mouse or wireless mouse a movement detected from the mouse sends instructions to the computer to move the cursor on the screen in order to interact with files windows and other software elements means when you move a mouse on a mouse pad so what happens next that movement of that mouse is detected by the mouse internal mechanism and as a result uh, the mouse sends instructions to the computer to move 
the cursor or pointer on the screen so even though the mouse is a peripheral device means a cable based device as you connect uh, mostly you connect mouse uh, with your computer through a cable so it is a peripheral device that sits outside the main computer housing it is part of a computer but it is not attached inside a uh, inside a computer it is not present inside a computer it is present outside a computer it is it is connected outside the computer so it is an essential piece of computer hardware so the mouse was invented by douglas angel bird uh, first time in 1964 if we talk about the structure of a mouse a uh, mouse comes in various shapes and sizes but all are designed to fit either the left or right hand of a human uh, so uh, the standard mouse has basically two buttons uh, the front of mouse's casing contains one wheel and two or three buttons these buttons can be clicked or double clicked in order to perform different tasks uh, on your computer screen for example an object an icon on the screen is selected by clicking the left button of the mouse similarly a program or folder is opened by double clicking the left button of the mouse so a mouse standard mouse i'm talking about a standard mouse it has it it has two buttons towards uh, the front uh, left for left click and right click and a scroll wheel in the center to quickly move the screen up and down however a computer mouse can have anywhere from one to several more buttons to provide a wide variety of other functions so a mouse has buttons in order to click or double click some uh, thing on the screen in order to open something on the screen or in order to select something on the screen uh, it uh, sometimes has a ball uh, on the bottom of uh, it uh, sometimes a ball over it sometimes it has a laser light inside it sometimes it has uh, light emitting diodes inside it so i'm talking about the ball laser or led these are basically related with different types of mouse inside a mouse is a circuit board uh, to transmit all input uh, all signals or information all clicks and other information uh, so it has a circuit board inside it on which which is actually an integrated circuit so another after structure important thing to know is that what are the uses of a mouse so you can uh, use a mouse you can move the mouse cursor the primary function of a mouse is to uh, move the mouse pointer uh, mouse cursor on the screen another function of a mouse is to open or execute a program once you have moved the pointer to an icon folder or another object clicking or double clicking that object it opens up that uh, document or uh, for you so uh, mouse is used to basically open up uh, that uh, something that file or folder so uh, when that file or folder would be opened up afterwards that would be executed uh, another um, use of a mouse is to select something on a screen a mouse allows you to select text or a file or highlight some sentence or something and select multiple files at once so another major use of a mouse is that it can be used for selecting for selection of something a fourth uh, use of a mouse is drag and drop once something is selected it can also be moved using the drag and drop method uh, fifth uh, use of a mouse is uh, to hover h o v e r hover moving the mouse cursor over the objects with hover information helps discover each object's function hover means uh, you can uh, you can fly uh, the cursor or pointer over a screen over an eye over an icon over an option over an instruction for example hover the mouse over uh, the start menu hover the mouse uh, over some icon hover the mouse over some folder a uh, sixth use of a mouse is to scroll when working with a long document or viewing a long web page you may need to scroll up or down to scroll 
use the mouse wheel or click and drag the scroll bar uh, seventh use of a mouse is to perform other functions like many desktop uh, mouse also have buttons that can be programmed to perform any function for example many mouse have to side buttons on the thumb portion of the mouse the button closest to the palm can be programmed to go back to the previously viewed web page in a browser so basically there are five six uses of a mouse so basically there are two or three major types of a mouse mechanical mouse optical mouse and laser mouse so let's talk about uh, the mechanical mouse. What is basically a mechanical mouse? A mechanical mouse is a computer mouse that contains a metal or a rubber ball on its underside. Now here you can see that it is basically a mechanical mouse. This is the bottom side uh, of a mechanical mouse and you can see this metallic or uh, rubber based ball attached on the uh, below surface of a mechanical mouse so when the ball is rolled you uh, when you roll or when you uh, roll a mouse in any of the direction the ball also gets rolled uh, along with that mouse uh, when the ball is rolled in any direction sensors inside the mouse detect the motion and move the on screen mouse pointer so mechanical mouse has uh, a rubber ball a plastic ball a metallic ball at the below surface and when you move the ball actually the sensor is inside the mouse detect the motion uh, and the control and the cursor or pointer on the screen moves along with the motion of the ball so this picture is basically an example of the bottom of a mouse these are all, all pictures uh, are showing this uh, below ball so as the ball is rolled over a flat surface the pointer moves in different directions on the screen after moving as uh, uh, the ball moves in different directions the pointer or cursor moves along with the with the movement or along with the direction of that ball nowadays this type of mouse is rarely used it has been replaced by other types of mouse so if friction is lost between the ball and the mousing surface or between the ball and the rollers the mouse fails to walk so in order to assure good contact with the mousing surface the ball must be fairly heavy so it can uh, get into contact with the uh, surface of the table and it can create a friction when you change directions with the mouse you must take the ball change rolling directions an action that inertia likes to prevent as you can see uh, in front of your eyes on your on the screen that uh, this is the inner structure of a mechanical mouse you can see that this is the right button which you click right button this is the left button which you click this is the middle scroll ball uh, this scroller or scroll ball is uh, attached uh, on the top surface of the mouse so this is the integrated circuit where the processor of the uh, of the mouse lies which controls all the movements or activities of the uh, uh, of the mouse this is the x axis wheel you need to uh, understand this thing this is the x axis wheel and this is the y axis wheel why the x axis wheel and the y axis wheels are attached here the question is that because x and y axis uh, are basically enabling this uh, rubber ball this metallic ball to uh, move in different directions on the surface of the table so this ball should be heavy enough to create friction uh, with the surface of the table this is the spring uh, and this is the capacitor the capacitor which is basically uh, storing the charge or the voltage or the signals the signals are then further sent to the integrated circuits or microprocessor of the mouse in order uh, to interpret them 
the signals go from capacitor to the integrator circuit. Uh, then the microprocessor inside the integrator uh, integrated circuit understands what these signals are about. These signals are showing which direction, etc. Now the second type of a mouse, I'm still talking about the types of a mouse. The second type of a mouse is an optical mouse. So an optical mouse is a mouse which has no ball at its bottom. And but the most prominent thing about an optical mouse is that it uses light emitting diodes and photodiodes to detect the mouse movement. Nowadays, optical mouse is commonly used in uh, in each of the personal computers. So, an optical mouse makes use of an LED and some uh, optics to detect a surface texture and the changes in it as the mouse is moved. Uh, as there are no moving parts pre present, so the friction or the movement of the mouse is detected through the light emitting diodes. Uh, it was introduced in uh, 1999 and uh, um, it also has uh, inbuilt optical sensors inside it along with the light emitting diodes. The optical sensor uh, basically reads the movement of the of the optical mouse moved by the user with the help of the light rays which uh, comes out from the bottom the area in which a light glows uh, or light is actually produced uh, through the light emitting diodes so when the user moves the optical mouse the light emitting diode present inside the mouse emits the light according uh, to those minute movements so when you move an optical mouse, the light emitting diode present inside the mouse emits lights. Basically, uh, this type of mouse, an optical mouse is faster than the uh, mechanical mouse. So here on your screen, you can see the uh, structure of an optical mouse. Now you can see this. Uh, this is the integrator circuit present uh, at the heart of this optical mouse this is the scroll switch there is a scroller here this is the plastic channel and this is here lies the LED light here you can see this is the LED light which is actually nearer to the integrated circuit also on this uh, circuit board uh, there uh, actually lies different types of sensors Two important thing to remember is that how does an optical mouse basically works? How does an optical mouse work? An optical mouse also has a tiny low resolution camera, tiny low resolution camera that takes a thousand or more pictures every second. In the camera, the CMOS sensor CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor, uh, basically sends a signal to the digital signal processor. CMOS, CMOS, CMOS sensor sends a signal to a DSP, to a digital signal processor. The DSP then analyzes each picture taken by that camera. It analyzes each picture for the pattern and light changes and then moves the mouse cursor on the screen. So what happens? A tiny, a tiny low resolution camera exists which per second takes thousands of pictures. Uh, a CMOS sensor sends a signal to the DSP. The DSP then analyzes each, each picture for pattern and quality for light changes. Uh, and as a result, the DSP then moves the mouse cursor on the screen as a result. So we can say that uh, optical mouse uses an LED, LED light. Uh, it uses CMOS, CMOS, CMOS image sensors for taking pictures, thousands of pictures per second. Uh, it has a resolution, higher resolution uh, uh, than the mechanical mouse. It senses the top of the surface, it's on. Uh, it works well on a mouse pad or non-glossy surface. It is inexpensive. Uh, 
as compared to mechanical mouse if we compare uh, a mechanical mouse uh, with an optical mouse we can say that the optical mouse does not have any movable parts uh, but the mechanical mouse has movable part like a ball below its surface so the life of the optical mouse is long as compared to the ordinary mechanical mouse second difference can be that the optical mouse uh, can also function good without a mouse pad which is impossible with mechanical mouse the advantage of an optical mouse over the mechanical mouse is that it can work without a mouse pad while mechanical mouse needs to be placed on a mouse pad in order to work properly uh, anyway, optical mouses cannot be used above reflecting glasses or any glass materials. Um, since uh, the uh, ball is absent in the optical mouse, uh, it has no ball like a mechanical mouse. So the weight of the optical mouse is less uh, as compared to the mechanical mouse. Uh, the dust clustering problem is abolished in the optical mouse. Dust does not... Uh, gets clustered uh, inside uh, an optical mouse uh, while it happens with mechanical mouses uh, the mechanical mice uh, the plural of mouse is mice so that's why i'm uh, uh, pronouncing it as mice so the biggest problem with mechanical mouse is that the dust clutters inside it so these are some basic differences uh, between the mechanical and optical mouse and you need to write down all these things there is also another third type of a mouse called as a laser mouse. Laser mouse is the most uh, upgraded mouse till date. It is better as compared to optical mouse. It is better for sure as compared to mechanical mouse. It is the most up to date, up -to -date mouse till date. Um, the internal uh, technology in optical mouse and laser mouse differs. The internal technology of both of the mouse is actually different. The average user may not notice a difference between uh, these two type of mouse, but there exist certain differences. Uh, like um, the major difference is that in optical mouse, light emitting diodes LEDs are used for illumination, for generating light, for generating glow. While in laser mouse, uh, laser light is used as an illumination source as a source for generating light laser is used uh, laser mouse also uses uh, cmos image sensors like an optical mouse these uh, cmos sensors are basically part of uh, the cameras present inside the mouse these cmos image sensors take photos of the surface the mouse is on and use those images to determine the movement on uh, the monitor screen laser mouse senses the surface on which the mouse is actually currently on so the laser mouse, sense, uh, mouse senses the surface more deeply as compared to the optical mouse it can work on any type of surface uh, as you know optical mouse uh, can work without the mouse pad but it cannot work on glossy surfaces but the laser mouse can work on any type of surface it can even work on glossy surfaces too Laser mouse is not expensive uh, nowadays. They are not as expensive as they used to be, but uh, they used to be more expensive than the optical mouse. So these were uh, some of the concepts regarding uh, the topic of mouse today. Uh, in our today's lecture, we discussed uh, the concepts of mouse, uh, the uses of mouse. We talked about the uh, three types of a mouse in detail so we are actually uh, done with the first type of a pointing input device uh, that is mouse inshallah in our next lecture we would uh, carry on with other types of pointing devices too till then Allah Hafiz